Hello and welcome back to another 5M tutorial. Today I'm going to be going over Discord perms and the menu all in one video. So if you're interested in setting up Discord perms and V menu perms, this is the place to do it. So we're going to hop right into it. First, to, we're going to be installing three things today and adding a bot to a Discord server. First thing we're going to install is Badger Discord API. That I will have this linked in the description. We're going to scroll down until we find the download. It's going to be right here. So we're going to hit this. It's going to bring you to the GitHub code. Download zip. You're going to need WinRAR, 7-zip, something along those lines. I'm going to open this up. We're going to open up our 5M server, wherever that's going to be. I trust you guys to find it. We're going to open up our zipping file program, raw, WinRAR, whatever you got. We're going to open this up. So you notice this is going to be our file. What we're going to do first is I'm going to make a directory. So what you're going to do is make a bracket. I'm going to name mine Badger. Just to make everything simple. But you notice how I have brackets. This tells, tells it that every folder I put inside is its own thing. Instead of see like this without the brackets everything inside here is the resource with the brackets it's saying everything inside here is going to be a new directory a new resource uh so that's just a little tip there i like doing this a lot um and before we move on we're going to go to discord ace perms and we are also going to configure this so we're going to hit download it's going to bring us to github same process download zip we're going to open up here we're gonna open it up drag it in you'll also notice here that I removed the main or master whatever it is I'm gonna do the same thing here hit F2 or go up here rename just go ahead and remove the main master whatever it says just remove those I am going to delete these out of my downloads folder just so they're out of the way but for now we're going to go ahead and open up Badger discord API and make sure these are named exactly this otherwise your resource will not work we're going to open this up. I'm going to open up the config.lua. I'm using 7-zip. You're welcome to use whatever you would like. But what we're going to do here is what we need to do is to get a guild ID. So open up your Discord server. I have this one right here. I'm going to copy this. If you don't know how to do that, go ahead and hit user settings. Go down to, I believe it is... Advanced, yep. Go to your advanced and your user settings, hit developer mode, and then just right click on here, copy server ID, that's your guild ID. We're gonna come back in here. We're gonna paste that right there, control V, whatever you'd like to do. Multi guild, I find this very unlikely for you to be using, so you're just gonna leave that. Name, we're gonna call this just YouTube server, you name it, whatever you'd like. Guild ID, I'm gonna put that same exact thing there. Here's the next important step. It's gonna be bot token. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna have to make a Discord bot. So we're gonna open up discord.com slash developer slash applications. I have it linked below. What you're gonna do is hit new application. I'm gonna name it. What I'm gonna name this is YouTube bot, or I'm gonna name it YouTube Badger bot. I'm going to hit agree. And create now once this is open what I'm gonna do is go to O or I'm gonna go to bot correction I'm gonna go to OAuth 2 URL generator bot I'm gonna give it admin you are welcome to give it whatever you want it's just easiest to give it admin I'm gonna copy this paste it go this is gonna have you invite the bot to your server and it should add the bot it's gonna do a little captcha and it is now in the server as you can see I hope that didn't move too fast if it did feel free to rewind what we did was go into OAuth 2 URL generator in this scopes I hit bot I gave it a permission which was administrator you can choose different permissions copy this link, use the link, and invite it to your server. So from here, we're gonna go to bot, reset token, 
I have a six digit authentication code, which I'm going to put in and then I'm going to cut to after I put it in. All right, now that that's in, what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this token. This token, you do not want to give to anybody. I'm deleting this bot afterward, so that's the only reason I'm showing you this token. This token means nothing to me. However, this token should not be shown to anybody. Nobody should have access to this token but you. But once we have it, we're gonna open back up. We're gonna paste that in the bot token. Make sure you still have the little apostrophe signs or whatever you wanna call it, and put it in between there. What we're gonna do is roll this. We're gonna open this up. As you can see, we're gonna come back to the Azure Discord API, and you can see right here how the format is. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do bracket. You're gonna hit your little apostrophe guy. Don't hit shift with it. There's a difference between this and this. I hope you can see those. You just want these little open guys. It should give you two of them. We're gonna type in our role name. As you can see, founder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into our roles. I'm going to do admin, LEO, and member. You can add however many you want. Start with the highest in permission and work down to the lowest. Always highest, then lowest. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna type in owner. And then we're gonna come back, space equals to the Discord ID. So we're gonna do space equals to, I'm gonna come back here, right click, copy role ID. Once again, you'll need your development load open. That doesn't change anything about your Discord. It just simply gives you that ability to do that. That's the wrong thing. We're going to go member. This needs to say LEO. Let's see. I didn't paste the LEO ID. And member. If I could spell it right. And now that we got the member in there. And we're going to ensure that everything's set up correctly. As you can see, it should be. Yes. And right here, I want to touch any of this. This right here, if you've ever joined a server and you notice there's a little splash image that says uh, Discord, Play, Website, or something along those lines, that's what this is gonna be. So right here, you can upload an image. For instance, this, if I open it up, is just going to say this. I'm just gonna leave it for, for now because I don't have anything prepared for that. How long do you want this up? I'm gonna set it to stay up for five seconds because 10 seconds is way too long. Welcome to, and you can enter whatever you want here. I'm gonna say, Puggo's server. You can type literally whatever you want in there. And then here will be the second heading. Type whatever you want blah 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 discord whatever you want website whatever you want I'm not adding anything so next what we're gonna do don't close this out just to make life easy we're going to come back in here discord ace perms config.lua so you're gonna have two config.luas here so don't don't get yourself confused since I'm in Visual Studio Pro I can do Visual Studio code yeah, studio code, sorry. Had to get that right. We're going to, uh, I'm gonna split screen to make life easy, and we're gonna copy some information over. So server name, we're going to set that to YouTube server. Again, you can set this to whatever, Discord link, website link, whatever. Refresh command, do you want, there's a refresh perms command in server that'll refresh perms, and it will work every 10 minutes, I believe or you can reset this. This, I believe, is going to be in seconds. Yes, that will be in seconds. Um, next, what we're gonna do is this one is different from this one. You notice this one we set up high to lower. This one's gonna be set low to high. This is where we're gonna have our group perms. So since I only need three, I'm gonna delete three of these. So what we're gonna do 
is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to get my, my lowest one, which is member. I'm going to copy the role ID. You can also take this from Discord. Since it's just right here, I'll just take it from here. Group dot member. I'm going to set it to member. You can set it to civ. You can set it literally to anything you want. It does not have to match this. But for today, we're just going to make it match to make life easy. I'm going to copy over my role IDs. And we're going to set up our group names. And just like that, Discord perms should be working without an issue. And so from here, we're going to go into server.cfg. And I'm going to just go ahead and ensure these real quick so we don't forget. So we've got ensure. There are two things to start. I would start this first. So we're going to copy that name, ensure it, and then ensure. Come back here. Copy, ensure. You are also more than welcome to do ensure badger or whatever you name that directory. I do believe that will work. I don't know of any issues with that. But if you just have these two things in the folder, it's it's just the same to do this. So we're going to save that, come back, make sure every file is saved. And now that they're all saved, I'm going to close out the Badger Discord API one, but I'm going to leave up the Discord Asperm so we can remember what our groups are. I'm going to slide this over a little bit just to stay out of the way. We're going to come back here and now it's time to move on to the menu. All right, so I believe I made a mistake and downloaded from the wrong spot. I apologize, it's been a very long time since I've downloaded vMenu and set it up in a server. So uh, I kind of forgot how to do that portion, um, but we're gonna come to this website or this site here. Um, this is the latest version from when I started. Uh, you can also just click on vMenu up here, go over here to latest and scroll down. I'm gonna hit zip on this top one. It is vMenu 3.6.0. There may be a later release, I'm not too sure. We're gonna open it up, and as you can see, this is gonna be our vMenu files. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut back to the server. I was moving around some things. Give me one second. All right, now that we're back in the server directory, we're going to come in here in our just root directory here. I'm just gonna drag and drop. Actually, I'm gonna create a folder since there is none. Call exactly the menu like this. It has to be lettered just like this, otherwise it will not work. V uppercase M N U. And we're going to take these files, drop them in the vmenu directory. I'm going to go ahead and delete this zip because I don't need it anymore. And we are done with WinRAR, so I'm going to close that out. We're going to go into this vmenu, go into config, and we're going to find permissions.cfg. I'm going to drag this out to where our server.cfg is. So right here, we're going to bring it back. And if yours is anything like mine, you should look for this spot. It might look a little different. But this permissions.cfg should be where this server.cfg is. And so what we're going to do is go into server.cfg. And we're going to add this line right here. X E X E C space permissions.cfg. That's going to tell the server to run the permissions. And then we're going to come down here and if you haven't already done it, ensure vmenu. I already had it in the server before this. Um, I was just adding it. So I already have everything set up in server.cfg. But just type in ensure vmenu and this right here. EXEC permissions.cfg. And we're going to come back and open our permissions.cfg. I'm going to open it up right here. And this is going to be where we're going to set up vmenu. So what we can do is... Do you want vmenu to use permissions? Yes. Do you want it to be staff only? No. Th this stuff you can kind of read through and figure out what you want to do with it. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. If you have issues, feel free to put a comment below. But right here, what t uh, what key do you want to toggle vmenu? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come here. I'm gonna close this out because we don't need this anymore. And I'm just gonna Google 5M key codes you're welcome to do this as well it should open this and this is what every single there is a number value to every single button on your keyboard 
or on a controller. And what we're gonna look for is F1, I believe is 288. If I remember correctly, yes. So we're looking for F1. You can set this to whatever you want. By default, VMenu is set to M, but I prefer F1. So we're gonna take that 288, and we're just gonna change this, 244, which is M, to 288. 289 is F2, that is your no clip. Um, so I'm gonna scroll down and we're gonna go down to permissions. Everything else you can kind of figure out on your own. Um, I'll let you guys mess with that. If you have questions again, go ahead and put this below. So what we're gonna do is right here under players slash group setup, just delete all this. We don't need this anymore because we already have group setup over here. And if you're doing it in here, this is just telling what those groups are. But since we have those groups set up to a Discord ID, we don't have to put anything in here. And so what we're gonna do is add principal group dot, we're going to allow the owner. Here's how I like to look at this. You can, this is a chain and you have high to low and you can connect two things at once and you can only have one chain in total. So, We want the owner to have what the LEO has. Or the, yeah, the owner to have what LEO has. And we want the LEO to have what member has. So what we're gonna do is owner LEO. And now that you, now I have two groups, group add underscore principal, group dot LEO, group dot member. This says the owner will have what the LEO has. LEO have what the member has. And if for some reason I didn't want LEO in here, I could have just put group dot member and deleted this. Um, you can skip groups if you want to do that, but that's all your, that's what you want to do. For example, if you have like a donator and you don't want everybody or your staff to have donator in, with your group in there, you can just not put donator. But from there, we can uh, move on down now that you have your inheritance. Down here, don't kick me, don't ban me. Uh, we'll set that to owner. Since there is no group.admin or group.moderator, we're just going to set these all to owner. No clip. I'll leave. You can change this. So if you want everybody to have something, regardless of their group. So for example, if somebody were to join your server without being in your Discord, they're going to be known as builtin.everyone. And anybody that has a role in your server is going to be known as group dot whatever the highest role they are or every single role they have based on that that role but for this instance i'm just going to leave this built in everyone for no clip so this is saying that everybody will have it so i recommend under every section pretty much there's going to be this each of these are like your your menus so here's your online player section in the menu dot all every single one of these pretty much is going to have this dot all always disallow this so that means come in front of here to ignore something you just put a hashtag in front of it uh, dash dash doesn't work but just put a hashtag and that'll just tell it to ignore that never use the all because that'll allow everything because if i go here and i don't want people to waypoint but i put all they'll still be able to waypoint as far as i'm aware so i just always leave those off but this is pretty self-explanatory if you want somebody to teleport waypoint spectate um, again, you can change these if I had a group.staff or tmod or whatever, but I'm not going to go through everything, every single one of these. This is all you. Again, I would go through here and remove these as you wish. So if I want these things to be dis or allowed in player options, but nothing else, I would just unquote these or unhashtag, whatever you want to call them. But I would just go through here, undo the all. And as you can see, you can come down here. These are all your, these are all your spawner like sections. Each of your uh, sports classes or your vehicle classes. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory as you go through. But basically, what you're looking at is that third portion of the dot structure to tell you what you're looking at. And just come on through and figure out what you want. On everything and here you have every single weapon in the server and then here's a, here at the bottom these you'll have to enforce a DLC which I won't go into this video but I'm sure you can find a tutorial I might go ahead and create a tutorial if people want that but
but for the most part this is pretty self-explanatory if you are running like a mumble voip or pma voice i would disable the voice chat because it will interfere with it so for example every single time that i develop a server i i've either used mumble voip or pma voice and i will remove this so i'll do this and this just completely removes voice chat from the server through vmenu so I, I would just completely remove this if you are using an external voice chat but other than that i think everybody can figure this out i don't know of anything in here that should be too confusing for anybody but uh anything i didn't show you in here actually i take that back everybody should be able to figure this out if you have issues don't hesitate to put this in the comments but i will go ahead and connect to the server and show you guys what's going on all right before we hop in server i'm going to show you one more useful thing so discord or the badger discord api has this annoying thing that when you join server it sends a little message in chat that says hey you're using a free version you know use this code or you know it, it's something it's annoying so i'm going to show you how to get rid of that from line 14 to 21 in your server.lua your badger discord api open that server.lua and come in here this is where having a actual coding editor helps we're just gonna do dash dash and you'll see this text is turning green that's telling it to ignore that and we're also going to come down here 29 through 30 and we're just going for 29 through what is this line 43 and we're just going to comment that out and that's going to tell the server to ignore that and it's not going to send a message every single time you join server and that should be everything yep and that is all the rest that i want you to do and i'll just go ahead and see you in server all right so this is that splash i was talking about and you can also check if everything's working by coming back and i'm going to open up my little console here you can see it gave me my groups and you can also see that it connected to my server so that's another way to check to make sure this is working before you even load in the server and we should be loading into the server pretty quick here since i don't have a whole lot installed but that is one nice way to check in your console right there that everything is working we're just going to come on in here and first thing i'm going to do is hit f1 now we know vmenu is working and we're going to go to these player options i'm just doing this because this is what i know will work because this is what i commented out and as we can see that is working awesome and as we can come in here we can see everything's working great so if you found this useful you go ahead and comment your favorite part also while i'm doing an intro you can also see that there was no chat message so that's what we just commented out but if you found this useful, go ahead and comment down below. Hey, this helped me so much or amazing tutorial something just so this helps the YouTube alg algorithm push this out to other people who might be having the same exact issue. But again, feel free to like, subscribe, whatever. That's been another tutorial with me. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, your weekend, your night, whatever it is. Have a good one.